Hi, and welcome to FreedomMotive.com. My name is Kyle Hoard, and in today's video, we're going to look over creating menu systems inside of Unreal Engine 4. As you can see, I have this basic menu here, which is, has a great game title. And if I click End, it will quit the game. But if I click Start, it will pause slightly and then load up my second uh, map that I have. So if I do that again, click Hold P, click End, and then it will come out of that. And in today's video, we're going to go over on how to create this. So to start off with, we're going to need to create the menu system using Unreal Engine's UMG, which stands for uh, Unreal Motion Graphics. We can create that by, in the content browser, right-clicking, scrolling down to User Interface, slightly out the screen, so I'll just do that again. User interface and here widget blueprint. I'm going to click that and type in main menu. Click enter to open this and this is the UMG's interface. As you can see up here it's pretty basic menu uh, so we can compile, save, find, in, find this menu in the content browser and then click play from here. Uh, we've also got a designer and graph which we will be doing most of our construction nodes in and then we've got this palette over here which has various types of uh, tools you can use inside of the actual menus uh, window here the hierarchy is basically so when you've got things put together like a button and then a text over it it should check uh, parent and child that inside of here we also got animations here so you can set up animations for buttons to move or fade in and out. We've also got the timeline here to set up the animations and then in the details as well the information will be for those nodes that you would find in here. To start off with we're just going to have a title of our game so we're just going to click drag in the text box. want to bring that out a bit more and then if you scroll down here and in font, bring that over here a bit. In the size, we're just going to put like 100. And then you've got text block here. And then in the content, underneath text, you just want to write the title of the game here, which we're going to call Amazing Game. Bring that out a bit more so it's got all of the text. And there you, go. you can make sure it aligns straight into the middle and then pop that there. Just want to bring that up a little. And then we go, we've got the title of our game. Next, we want to add some buttons so we can start the game and quit the game. Here, I just put in a button. I'm going to set the scale to 400 by 150. There's our first button. Bring in another one and then that again 400 by 150 and just place that underneath there. And then, as you can see, our buttons here. I'm going to just quickly type this as start button and quit. Then in our palette, we're going to want to bring text in here so the player will know what they're going to click. I'm just going to bring the size up to 50, change the color to black so it's a bit more visible on that mid gray type of button. And then in the content text, we want to type in start. And then for the second button, Again, change the size to 50, change that color to black, and then the text, quit. There we go. So here we go, we've got our menu, I'm just going to hit compile, and then just save that. Now we got that, we're going to need to draw the menu when you play the game, because at the moment if we click play we just start the game and we're falling and nothing's happening 
So in the level blueprints, we want to open that window and type in event begin play. And you get that by just right clicking on your mouse and typing. I'm going to drag the noodle off here and type in create widget. And then the class. We want to make sure it's set as that main menu class, which we've named here. And then return value. We'll want to drag this noodle off here and then type in add to viewport. And we're going to need the player, so we'll just type in git player controller. And I'm going to hit compile. So now when we start the game, here comes our menu. And as you can see, there's no really mouse that shows up and we've got this player still here. So we don't want that. To get rid of that, over in the content browser we're going to right click, go to blueprint class, and type in player controller. Once you hit that, just type in mouse input, click that, enter, and then it's going to open up this blueprint window here. Now over here in the details panel, you're going to want to click show mouse cursor, enable click events, we're just going to uncheck touch events and then enable mouse over events just so that all the mouse things are showing up once the game plays. Now to get that going we want to go uh, happening because when we click play it still has that problem. So we're going to go settings, world settings and then I'm just going to make that bigger and then in game mode override we can't click out any of these and we don't want to change any of the first person gaming modes so what we're going to do is again in the content browser right click blueprint class I'm going to go game mode type in mouse click enter uh, and then we want to over here make sure that player controller is set to mouse input hit compile and then back into the world settings just make sure that we click on mouse and you see here it's changed that to mouse input so now if we click play here we go we have our mouse inputs so and we can click start or quit at the moment they're not doing anything so what we're going to want to do is over here and our UMG click on the start button not the text but the button itself and then in the details scroll down find the events on clicked you want to drag out from there because this is going to start the game uh, oh we're still playing sorry about that so go back to the main menu it's still have everything there so it's fine drag that noodle out first we want remove from parent so this UMG will disappear once you click that button and then we're going to want to open the level Just make that a bit neater come over here and then in first person blueprints get a maps we're just going to copy and paste the map name here and then paste that into there hit compile and then in here you want to click quit drag here down and make sure you got the unclicked event touch there and we're just going to use a console command here so execute console command and then in here we're going to type in quit hit compile and save so now when we play our game we're going to have the quick button exit out of the game and then if we click start it should load up the level and there you go and that's how you set up menu systems inside of Unreal Engine. My name is Carl Hood and thank you for watching 3 